most economic institutions across the country and beyond, when a student gets a credit at C in their examination, it is perceived to be one of the strongest grades. But the reverse is the case in the Ghana Law School. Well, more than 90% of the 727 students uh, failed the recent bar exams earlier this year, according to results released by the Ghana Legal Council's Exams Committee. So to fail a subject at the Ghana School of Law, it means the student had less than 50% in the results, meaning if one has 49%, which is a C, it is a fail, and that student will have to resit that particular paper. Well, the results released by the Independent Examinations Committee of the General Legal Council this year saw only 64 out of the 727 students pass in all the papers. The 64 students passing the examination means none of them had below B in any of the subjects, thereby making them qualified to be called to the bar. Already some students are raising key concerns that even a C does not guarantee them a pass. Uh, we've been joined in the studio by the president of the Students' Representative Council of the Ghana Law School, Jonathan Alua. Uh, so, Thank you very much, Jonathan, for your time. So what, what is really your concern about this? Well, um, first of all, I would like to say a very good afternoon to your cherished viewers. Um, our concern with the nature of the examination results for status is we don't think it's a fair reflection of the academic intellect of the people who are But that's always been the case. Uh, that's, that's not an entirely fair comment because the results started dwindling a couple of years ago. If you recall, Two years ago, students were agitating. It was bloody because 91 out of well over 500 students passed the exam. It was unprecedented. And then this year, it was 64. And we, we have cause to be concerned because if we, we move from 91 to 64 in just one year, it only means that there's a problem. And this is particularly alarming because to enter into the law school now, you need to literally work your sweat off. You have to take an entrance exam. You have to be sieved out of many. For, for my current crop of students, we were 1,801 students, and a little over 500 got in. So that's, that's the point. We believe that those who make it into the law school are worth the, the calling, and they have everything it takes to take the professional law course. And So, so when everybody you, should be passed? That's not the point. And so when, when, when you receive statistics that show that just 91, let's use those statistics, just 91 out of over 500 students have passed, then it means that there's a problem with the system. We just finished writing our exams. Hopefully, our situation will be different. But we, we, we are alarmed and concerned because last year, after the 64, people, people thought that, oh, well, the problem has been raised. People have spoken about it. So we'll not have a, a recurrence of the problem. And it slapped us in the face. They had 91 students passing. And so we think that now that we are done with the results, we can only hope and pray that the independent examination committee would, um, would mark the papers and bring results. That would be a fair reflection of what students have put into these exams. Uh, I understand one of your biggest concerns is that C is a failure. Well, I think to dwell on the fact that a C is a failure will be a little bit of a shot in the foot for us because it's not about the grade. Just as I've said, we expect that anybody who has, I mean, for a huge majority of those who come into law school, they should be able to pass the course. Uh, the pass mark is 50, um, uh, so 49 and below means you haven't failed. So it's really about the number of people who are able to make 50 and above, and not more about the fact that the fail mark is 49 and below. So what do you intend to do about this? Well, as an SRC, we, we expect that the Independent Examination Committee um, take seriously a lot of the recommendations that have come out of the agitations this year. Um, if, you, if you've been following, and I'm sure you have, um, after, after the results were released, we went to parliament, we got audience with the president, and a lot of recommendations have come out. We expect that particularly the report that emanated from parliament will be, will be implemented wholesale. Um, the parliament recommended that, for instance, the fees of remarking, if you fail one paper, you have to pay 3,000 CDs to order a remarking that has to be reduced drastically to 500 CDs. It will amaze you to know that for those who applied for remarking, if you look at the statistics, it's not negligible. A lot of students who hitherto had failed ended up passing. It can only tell you that, you see, the human, human error is inherent in the system. And so to place a financial cap on who can apply for remarking or not is, is only a way of, you know, 
making it accessible to the financially capable people. All right, thank you very much. Uh, you had the SRC president of Ghana Law School there uh, raising his concerns. Um, I'm sure there'll be more to come on this story.